أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد my dear and most respected brothers and sisters and friends, I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. Today it's the final program, the last program of the month of Safar. And next week will be uh, the beginning of the great month of Rabi'il Awwal. Uh, next uh, Saturday for our program will be the first day of Rabi'il Awwal and the first program for Rabi'il Awwal. And so we anxiously look forward to the coming of this great month of Rabi'il Awwal because it is the month of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the month of the birth of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, the month of the commemoration and celebration of the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon him. Uh, so a, a great occasion indeed coming upon us and these are wonderful times. I'd mentioned before in, in the previous programs that uh, this month of Safar is the bridge to Rabi'il Awwal. The bridge to Rabi'il Awwal, it is a time when much joy and happiness enters into the hearts of the believers because of the expectation of the, the the coming of this great month of Rabi'il Awal, which is just a few days away. And I wanted to start our program today by telling you about this so you can prepare to welcome the month of Rabi'il Awal. And among the best ways of welcoming the month of Rabi'il Awal is to engage in reciting Salawat and the Sharif on the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I also today in our program want to uh, mention a few things that are happening in our community. Uh, on Sunday of this week, this past Sunday, uh, there was the janazah of a family that's associated with the Islamic Forum, uh, Sister Bibi Taziman Rahim uh, from Kitchener, uh, the mother of uh, Brother Safraz, um, and the entire family, Sister Shelley, another daughter, and so on, uh, they're all connected to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Sister Bibi Taziman passed away and her janaz was on Sunday. And uh, I had the opportunity to participate in the janaz and the burial and the funeral and the recitation of Quran in the home afterwards and so on. Uh, and it was uh, a, a sad occasion for her passing, but also uh, an occasion to remind everyone about their duties to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with respect to our deceased relatives, family members, uh, and members of our community, and our, our duties to ourselves. So uh, the, the burial, the janazah, the dua for the mayyit, for the deceased, and so on, and then uh, to take lessons from that. Uh, 
uh, one of the scholars of Islam mentioned uh, that if you are carrying a janaza today, you're burying someone today, then you must know that tomorrow others will be burying you, will be carrying you uh, for janaza and burial. So a lesson for all of us. Uh, we had also mentioned uh, the passing uh, about six weeks ago of Brother Abdul Nazim Rahim from Ottawa. And today it's his 40-day work and his family is doing that. Um, and several of them were present for the janazah this week. They related. Uh, I met Brother Rafiq. Uh, Sister Rafikun as well, but Rafik is uh, the president of the Guyana Caribbean Islamic Association in Ottawa, uh, a wonderful organization that has been in existence for many years and has done wonderful work uh, for the Muslim community. Many of the members are uh, loyal supporters of the Islamic Forum. We thank them uh, for their support. So today, the 40-day function uh, for Brother Abdul Nazim Rahim. And this 40-day function is a sunnah of the ummah uh, throughout the Muslim world, throughout this ummah. It is a practice in all the Muslim countries. And uh, we usually encourage families to do this, to pray and make dua and recite Quran on behalf of their deceased relatives so that they can uh, receive, the deceased soul can receive the blessings of the good deeds that you do for them. I also want to mention a wonderful brother that I met in Kitchener uh, this past uh, week this past Sunday at the Janazah, Brother Ibrahim, uh, who is uh, a regular uh, viewer of this program, and he was happy to meet us, and he said he enjoyed the program so much and benefited from it uh, in, in great ways. And many of those people we met talked about uh, looking at this program, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, and other places, um, and how much it benefits them. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us with this opportunity. On last uh, Sunday of last week, on the 22nd, we had a special program at the Islamic Forum. And this was a program to welcome the newly elected members of parliament uh, that uh, won in the recent national federal elections in Canada. And uh, we, we invited them, and especially from the Peel region, uh, and they came out and they spoke at the Islamic Forum. And we want to share with you today uh, what they said uh, at this program today, this special uh, welcome and congratulation event that we had at Islamic Forum on behalf of the Muslim community to uh, welcome and congratulate the newly elected members of parliament. And I want to share with you some of what took place at this program. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum. I pray you're all well. Today we're having this special program at the Islamic Forum of Canada where we are bringing together the Muslim community uh, as well as the political officials, the elected officials. We have invited the candidates uh, from the five Brampton ridings, the five liberal candidates that won the election, the six candidates from the Mississauga ridings, there are six riders in Mississauga, we invited all of them. Uh, also, the mayor of Brampton, uh, Linda Jeffrey, the mayor of Mississauga, we've invited uh, several other officials uh, from Peel Regional Police and so on to attend the program. So, uh, the the uh, politicians, other officials have been invited. Uh, for the Muslim community, we've invited many organizations, many masjids and mosques and Islamic centers to attend our program today. Uh, we are preparing for a large crowd, uh, a good representation of the Muslim community. We've also invited uh, the Muslim businessmen, 
uh, the Muslim professionals, doctors, uh, lawyers, engineers, and other professionals uh, representing different groups from the Muslim community. So we are expecting uh, a wide cross-section of the Muslim community to come out today for this program, and we are expecting all the elected officials and many other important dignitaries to come here and join together. The pur purpose of the program, firstly, to congratulate uh, the newly elected members of parliament uh, from the recent uh, federal national elections in Canada. Uh, th so this is a celebration for them, to congratulate them also on the great victory. And then to uh, work with them, and we want to make this suggestion to them today, uh, to deal with issues of concern for the Muslim community. In the wake of the recent terrorist attacks, there has been a lot of Islamophobia incidents in Canada. We're concerned about that. We're concerned for our Muslim community and the safety of our Muslim community. And we hope to uh, co convey this concern to them and to work with them to resolve uh, this issue. The Syrian refugee crisis is also concern for us, and we hope that they can help us uh, to address uh, this issue and other issues of concern for the Muslim community. So we hope. Uh, in, in congratulating them on the great victory to set the stage for the near future where we can work together for the mutual benefit of the Muslim community, the Canadian Muslims, and all of Canada, all of Canadian society to make this country, Canada, a more beautiful country, a stronger country, a better place for all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه Ajma'in, Amin, Amin, Amma Ba'd. My dear respected brothers and sisters and friends, uh, honorable dignitaries and special guests, uh, let me start off by greeting you with the universal greetings of peace, the greetings of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And let me also join with our dear chairperson, uh, Brother Munaf, uh, in welcoming you to the Islamic Forum for this special event today. There many of you that I want to recognize uh, because you're all important uh, and there are many community leaders here from the Muslim community uh, as well as from the political community, the business community and so on. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, we would get a chance to meet after the conclusion of the formal program. Uh, I look forward to meeting with each and every one of you, but I also want to thank you for coming out today. Uh, this program was not planned uh, well in advance. Uh, we want to welcome Minister Napri Baines. Uh, and we also want to thank him for coming. Uh, he had to rearrange a lot of other things on his schedule today. 
to be here, as uh, many of the other leaders who are here. We welcome all of them. Um, and many of you would have received uh, invitations as late as last night, two days ago, three days ago, uh, because this is how it unfolded. We had initially intended for the program to be later on. But after the incidents in Paris, in France, uh, that changed everything. And we thought we should have this program as soon as possible. And so we really do appreciate uh, your presence here uh, today. The focus of our program today is to welcome and congratulate the newly elected member of parliament, uh, particularly in the Peel region, the five MPs in Brampton, the six MPs in Mississauga, and then there were several others that our community worked with uh, that we wanted to bring them out here today and to welcome them to our community, to congratulate them on a great victory. Uh, many people did not expect the outcome of the elections uh, what they were, and, and be very happy uh, at the outcome of the elections. For, and, and we are not political. Those of you who know me would know that I don't get involved in politics too much. We try to stay away from that. But I guess our hands were forced on this occasion. And so in the past, Several months, ever since the election was announced, I found myself mentioning the elections and the role of Muslims in this election more and more. And it was because of the situation we found ourselves in, where as a community, Muslim Canadians were demonized. At the Islamic Forum School, we teach Islamic sciences, Arabic language, and Tajweed training. Classes are available for all age groups. It was narrated that Rasulullah said, A faithful person cannot have enough of teachings that lead to piety, guidance, until it leads him to paradise. It was also narrated, scholars are the inheritors of the sciences of the prophets of Allah. It was also narrated, words of wisdom are the beloved of the faithful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Remember the Islamic School program that we have and the other education programs at Islamic Forum. Please get involved and tell others about it. The weekly family program are Mawlid. And then for the month of Rabil Awal, we have Mawlid every night throughout the month of Rabil Awal. Please contact Islamic Forum for, for the details so you can get involved. Uh, it is a time now for you to welcome the month of Rabi'l Awal. And we have the special Salawat project that we'd like all of you to involve yourself in. There is a special website for that, ummacare.ca. Join the Salawat project so you can welcome the month of Rabi'l Awal. I want to go back now to the special program we had to welcome the MPs and to present to you uh, a minister in the government, the Honorable Navdi Baines, uh, to hear his words as well. Alaikum. Alaikum uh, ladies and gentlemen, it really is an honor and a privilege to be here this afternoon at the Islamic Forum of Canada. I'd like to say, uh, first and foremost, it is an absolute honor to be here with my federal colleagues. I see them here representing Brampton and Mississauga with a lot of pride. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, we have a fantastic team in Ottawa. 
a very strong team representing the region of Peel, and I'm absolutely delighted to be part of that team. I'd like to thank uh, Sheikh Faisal, uh, Imam, and of course, uh, Brother Muna for uh, this opportunity. Um, as mentioned earlier, uh, today uh, we're here to have a very constructive dialogue, a very important discussion. Uh, and what I heard very eloquently from the Imam was the fact that we are here to very clearly speak out against the acts of terrorism. And that's very, very important that we do that as Canadians. Because these are Canadian values, but these are also Muslim values, as articulated before. And this is something that we need to clearly do here at home and abroad. And there's no doubt that because of these acts, it gives rise to Islamophobia. It gives rise to the politics of fear. And this is a battle that we have against the terrorists. All of us do in this room. It's a collective fight that we have against terrorists. So it's not a fight against Muslims. Let's be very clear about that. It's a fight against terrorists. But we also must speak out against the hate crimes. And we heard and have seen the acts that unfolded in Toronto and, of course, the arson in Peterborough in the mosque there. And not a very proud moment as a Canadian. It bothered me profoundly that such acts would take place in Canada. Completely unacceptable. But as typical Canadians, people came together. They raised well over $100,000 for the mosque. Many Muslims and non-Muslims. And that's what it means to be Canadian. And this type of hate is completely unacceptable in Canada, as mentioned. And our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau, made it very clear that this is not tolerated in Canadian society. And I think the underlying theme here today, those that promote Islamophobia, those that carry out the acts of terrorists, that we must not succumb to the politics of fear. And as uh, I had the honor of saying, and as the Prime Minister said during the campaign, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. <laughs> Equality of opportunity is a cornerstone of Canadian society. And I can kind of appreciate the angst and frustration you're feeling today. Uh, and I've shared this story with some of you, and I think it's important to highlight it again. Not too long ago, when I was a teenager, a young man wanted to join the RCMP. He wore a turban, but he wanted to be part of a Canadian institution, Mr. Dillon, Voltage Dillon. But at that time, the politics of fear started to creep up. Ignorance started to become prevalent. Hatred, bigotry, the things that we're seeing today here. And at that time, there was enormous pressure for him not to wear the turban and be part of the RCMP. But at that time, he fought for his rights, and Canadians rallied around him. And we're seeing that same film here today. And I am honored to be part of a government that said we will no longer pursue the niqab case going forward, that if you choose to wear niqab and take the Canadian oath, you can do so. Our government has been very clear. No matter who you are, where you come from, what faith you practice, you have the opportunity to succeed. And that is why it's important that we have this opportunity to celebrate the Muslim faith. We have this opportunity not to tolerate each other, but to celebrate each other. That's the Canadian way. But we also will have some challenges, as the Imam mentioned. Right now, we are trying to do our best to make sure that we articulate to Canadians our commitment for 25,000 refugees. It's a commitment that we take very seriously. It's a commitment the Prime Minister made during the campaign, and it's a commitment that he will honor. And he will honor it because it's the Canadian way. It's the right thing to do. And he has the political courage to do so. Mm. 
but we need your help. The government, of course, will play a leadership role. But as mentioned, community has stepped up a million dollars. And I've heard many other commitments, many other organizations, many other people stepping up and willing to commit. This is a national project, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a refugee project. This is not a project for one community. This is a project that all Canadians must embrace. This is an opportunity for Canada to show and demonstrate leadership once again. And so I ask you to make sure you continue to play an active role. It's not simply the role of government. It's the role of every single Canadian to step up and say, look, we have an opportunity to bring 25,000 of the most vulnerable people to come to Canada and allow them the opportunity to pursue the Canadian dream, ladies and gentlemen, and we will honor that commitment. So I thank you very, very much for this opportunity. As I mentioned, I'm absolutely honored to be part of such a fantastic team. They will do great work in the House of Commons. It's a fantastic team because they care passionately, but we all share the same values. And I'm so, so fortunate to be part of this team and to be able to be part of this discussion today. Thank you very much. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and remember to earnestly get involved in welcoming the blessed month of Rabi'il Awwal that's starting a week from now. Next uh, Friday night will be the first night of Rabi'il Awwal. Uh, next Saturday, the first day of Rabi'il Awwal, the nightly Mawlid at Islamic Forum. Uh, please get involved. If you can attend, you do so. If not, then you can join the program online uh, through the YouTube channel of the Islamic Forum. Uh, I also want to make dua, as you mentioned at the beginning of the program, for Sister Bibi Taziman Rahim, who passed away on Sunday of this week, was uh, the Janazah in Kitchener. And then also to remember Brother Abdul Nazim Rahim, uh, who's for today uh, work in Ottawa. Uh, today, we make special love for him and his family. Uh, I met many people at, at the function uh, who look at the television program. We thank them all for doing this. Please remember your donation to the Islamic Forum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Shabbat